Hello and welcome to presentation two of six of the grade eight science curriculum for Alberta mechanical systems. Several simple machines all working together are called complex machines. A system is a group of parts that work together to perform a function. A bicycle is a good example of a complex machine because it is a system for moving a person from one place to another. So in a bicycle you have a wheel and axle, you have gears to reduce the force, you have chains to transfer the force from the pedals to the gears, you have pedals acting as a lever to increase the force applied to the wheel and axle, and you have brakes used as a lever to increase the force. It uses friction to slow your bike down. Within the bicycle are groups of parts that perform specific functions such as braking or steering. These groups of parts are called subsystems. Each subsystem is a complex machine that contains a simple machine and usually has just one function. The subsystems of a bicycle are a wheel and axle for the wheels, drivers and gears, frames and materials, brakes and steering, and aerodynamic design. A subsystem in a mechanical device that produces motion, such as in a bicycle, play a role in how energy is transferred within the system. Subsystems are called linkages and transmissions. The different subsystems in a mechanical device can produce a force advantage, such as the disc brakes in a car. Here's an example of disc brakes. You have a master cylinder, a power booster, a brake pedal. So as you apply brakes to your brake pe pedal, it goes through this power booster into this master cylinder, which pushes, puts pressure on your brake line and causes your brakes to stop. The brake fluid transfers the pressure from the brake pedal to the brake pads and the disc which produces enough force to stop the car.